Hey guys, welcome back once again to Brick System Brothers. Today's special video, it is our 400th upload of, you know, all the videos we've put on the channel since we started. Our first videos are still up. Um, they're a lot different. They look a lot different than what we put out now. Josh and I both got a uh, new phone since then. Uh, I just wanted to take a look back at what we've done and um, maybe a little bit of a breakdown by topic. Um, you know, like looking at how many of our videos are reviews. Uh, how many times do we cover just digital Lego stuff? You know, just get a better idea of what Brick System Brothers has been for 400 videos. Um, maybe some discussion in the comments about what we will be going forwards. I know, uh, as you can see behind me, I just got back to Iowa. So I've been in Michigan. I want to talk about this on a Q&A and possibly do um, like more of a channel trailer kind of style video. Uh, just with a little more background about what I do and what Josh does. Um, so I've graduated from college with a degree, an engineering degree, but I'm currently doing construction. Josh is still in high school um, and kind of in between all of that, between the two of us, we love doing Lego stuff in our free time. Um, so that's where I've been for a little while. And now that I'm back, I'll have um, just more time to work with uh, my collection i uh, been building my collection while I'm gone, but I haven't really been able to do any sorting or anything. Um, so I've also been making some eBay purchases, and like you've seen in the last couple months, um, more trips to the Lego store than usual. So I have some new stuff coming in. Um, I'm really wanting to work on getting this all sorted, inventoried, and definitely kind of catalog what I do have. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm planning to follow that with the channel, so that's kind of what I want to do going forward. But 400 videos, looking back, you know, where have we been so far? So with the breakdown here in categories, I didn't want to get too complicated. I looked at seven main categories. First one is reviews. Uh, we had 61 total reviews for just over 15%. An example of that would be 40358, uh, been there, done it, that review. Uh, next category was digital tutorials. I have done quite a few of those. Uh, 37 videos, almost 10%. And an example of our digital tutorials was the LDD clone tool tutorial. I just went into depth with those. Third category was announcements. Um, and we actually didn't do these at all for probably our first entire year. Um, but now we have done a few of those now. 36 announcements, a 9%. Um, and that's just looking at sets that get announced or things that are coming out. I did take a look at one of the Star Wars promotions. Um, you know, my main interest with these is if we're getting new pieces or new colors. So I actually focus on that when I'm talking about announcements more than anything else. Uh, going forward with a fourth category, I did put HuTap in its own category. That's been kind of our strongest running series. And we've published 17 of those so far, almost 5%. Um, go all the way back to number two and look at the 4070 headlight brick piece. That was a good one. Next category is pretty big, our haul and shopping category with 74 videos, 18.5%. Uh, a lot of those are going back to our Walmart. I did put all of our What's at Walmart videos in this category, even if we didn't buy something during those videos. Um, recently, a lot of those are coming from the Lego store trips that I've been taking. But here's one, an example from one of our Walmart hauls. Um, I felt like we bought a lot of stuff, so it was kind of like a black hole, you know, something kind of fun. Uh, another small category that I chose to differentiate was milestones. Um, and for a while, this was a very small fraction until we started putting our updates out for our 1,000 subscriber challenge. So probably more than half of the milestone videos are related to the 1,000 subscriber. But we did do a pretty fun video back at 200 where we were just talking about our top three up to that point. Um, so actually half of our videos uh, published up to that point and then another 200 to this video it's definitely picked up the pace since we published that and then everything else uh, that leaves 155 other videos for almost 40 percent um, and that really covers just about everything else that we've done on the channel um, just stuff that doesn't really fit into a genre one of the best examples I feel like uh, would be when I go and do a deep dive on a certain topic um, so an example video specifically for that was when I did uh, a presentation almost on rare Lego and kind of looking at, you know, what sets certain pieces apart. And that turned out to be just over 50 minutes. Um, 
I actually made an entire slideshow presentation and just really went all in um, talking about things uh, more in depth there. I feel like, you know, to do the topic justice, you have to really cover a lot of ground. Um, so if you have an hour to kill and you want a podcast style episode, um, there's a little bit of visual material, but a lot of it you could just listen to. Go check out the Rare Lego video. Uh, so that's kind of the categorical breakdown. Uh, definitely could have sorted it a little further, um, but I didn't want to give myself too much work here. Really interesting, uh, I think, from my perspective, maybe looking at comparing to other channels that do a lot of announcements and press release stuff. Uh, we really don't focus on that a whole lot at all. Um, and it was something I didn't want to do a lot of kind of from the beginning. So keeping that low, under 10% of our videos so far, uh, I think is a kind of a goal that's been accomplished to this point. Moving forward, kind of want to keep it at that level. Um, you know, doing a couple, but not necessarily flooding uh, the feed, the YouTube video feed with more of the same. Um, it, it's definitely, you know, videos that perform better in the short term. Um, but after about a week, I think everyone's pretty much tired of hearing about it and the set hasn't even come out yet. So um, just doing our part or doing my part to not really clog that up any more than it needs to be. I'd rather focus on stuff that, you know, almost has a unique perspective and coming at uh, things with that angle. And most of those videos fall into that general other category, uh, which is still a majority. So that's cool. Uh, I also wanted to do a breakdown for uh, the videos that have been kind of hosted differently. Um, so big surprise, I've actually hosted three quarters exactly of our videos, 300. Um, and I'll do examples for these two. I mean, I guess what I really... The videos that I really enjoy hosting are just when I kind of sit back and, and talk and don't really do too much scripting. Um, one of those was when I was just talking about my short-term storage stuff in my dorm room um, where I just had a couple of Acro Mills bins and talked about that while I was in, in college. Um, so that was back last summer. And I just was like, ah, I'm going to pop the camera open and record and um, just talk about the situation because it was kind of messy and I did want to show you know all sides of the Lego hobby not ne not necessarily just the clean polished side of it but also kind of behind the scenes a little bit. Um, Josh has actually hosted 31 videos to this point and he's he's really picking up uh, to the point where he does some of his own editing now so one of the ones that he put together uh, by himself without any help from me was his um, Bricks and Minifigs Hall from Omaha um, earlier this year and just kind of doing the layout there, talking about what he got. Um, and Josh and I don't have complete overlap on, on what we prefer to make content on. And, and that's a good thing because we do want to have some variety here. Um, but I definitely appreciate how Josh is starting to pick up some of the workload on that end. Um, combined, Josh and I have both hosted 58 videos, 14.5% of our content, and really that's just looking at when we can both sit down in the studio or uh, we're going out to Bricks and Minifigs or going somewhere else and we just are both available at the same time to make a video for the channel. Um, so maybe one of those that we've done together. We did a look at uh, the Speed Champions, kind of did a six wide recap. Um, right when they were releasing the eight wide speed champions. So we both collect speed champion stuff. Josh does actually more than I do, but um, we're both fans of the line. So we sat down and talked about that. Um, and that I feel like that was one of our really balanced discussions. Um, both had some input. Sometimes we're both hosting it there, but I end up doing more of the talking. Um, and I, I've asked Josh about that. He said he's fine with it, but it can feel a little bit lopsided. I definitely appreciate it when Josh does have some input um, on the topic and has something to share. A very small percentage of our videos, 11 in total out of our 400 here, uh, have actually mainly focused on a guest. And actually our 300th video uh, was in this category. We looked at the kind of behind the scenes workshop of NCP Studios, uh, the stop motion going on there. Um, so even though, you know, Josh and I were technically hosting that, we wanted to mainly focus on the content uh, with our guest. 
Um, and some other ones, we've just had our, our younger sisters come down and build with us a couple times um, and also looked at a train layout. So I, I put that in the guest category. Um, but only 2.8%, um, pretty small fraction there uh, making those videos up. Uh, I'm not opposed to making that a bigger fraction, um, but you know, putting out as many videos as we do, uh, a lot of those are just going to be hosted by myself, um, other times Josh. So not necessarily getting out to do a lot of the uh, guest videos. Um, there's plenty of things to cover right here uh, in our own workshops and studios. So yeah, there's a little bit of a breakdown for you guys. Just, you know, nothing that you couldn't find yourselves. Although I did go ahead and put some of our um, thousand subscriber challenge stuff to be unlisted. I felt like it was just kind of taking up room on our videos page. Um, and you know, once we have the giveaways done, those don't really need to be up anymore. I didn't delete them. I just made them unlisted. So, um, I have a link, a uh, URL that, you know, you could go watch those if you have the link, if you want. Um, but trying to bring our channel pages back to a hundred percent focus on, uh, the content that we do put out to be long-term and not as much of the short-term stuff. Um, so that still exists, but it's not really public anymore. Um, so if you do go to do like a video count on our channel, there's not exactly 400 anymore, um, but total uploads wise, this is uh, 400. And a lot of these numbers, in fact, all the numbers that I've got uh, from this breakdown um, are actually from my personal records. So YouTube does do a little bit of record keeping um, on the studio side, and that's really helpful for analytics. Um, but I found that if I wanted a cumulative total of video hours, for example, that's not necessarily something that's readily available from the creator tools. So I started making uh, a data log of all of our uploads with um, the times and um, it's in uh, Google Sheets. So you can just sum those up and get a total upload time. Um, so I have all that data and that breakdown uh, and that makes it easier to kind of compile these reports and kind of look at this. And being um, a big fan of like data analytics and stuff like that, uh, coming from my engineering background, um, that's also something I enjoy doing. So uh, that makes it really easy for me to do it. So thanks for taking a step back with me and kind of looking back at the channel. Uh, it's been interesting to see kind of where that divides all out uh, over the course of 400 videos. And there's more to come where that came from. So stick around and we'll see you guys around Brick System Brothers.